Hi there. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use PopDoc widgets inside of Microsoft Teams. So here we have a pretty simple widget that's pulling a collections list from our ERP. I want to go ahead and embed that into, let's say, my finance channel in Teams. So to embed it in Teams, I'm going to come down to Embed Codes, and I'm going to copy this particular widget ID right here. I'm going to then go to Teams, and I'm going to select my finance channel. So we're all going to pretend this says finance channel right here. I'm going to click on Add a tab up here, and I'm going to choose PopDoc. Now, I happen to have it in my recent list. I use this widget quite a bit. Um, if you don't have it here, obviously not in your recent list, but if you don't have it under your More tabs, go ahead and search for PopDoc under the Search button right here, and it'll pull it out of the Microsoft Marketplace for you. So I'm going to select my PopDoc, and within the widget ID, I'm just going to go ahead and paste that widget ID that I copied earlier. Okay. Um, if I do have parameters for my list, for example, if this was a support channel for our Smart Connect product, for example, I might be filtering this list based on products. So I might have to say product equals Smart Connect. Uh, that's going to be driven by the particular list that you've chosen. Uh, I don't have any parameters for this particular list, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Save. So as you can see here, we now have our collections list embedded inside of Teams, and all of my favorite PopDoc features are here. For example, I've got my details. I can click through and see my sales orders. I can uh, add and remove columns. I can sort and group differently if I need to. And if I click over here to my Zendesk tickets, I can drill down and show you that I can even right click and interact with these things. So I could, for example, add a comment to this ticket and send that into my Zendesk, allowing me to participate in this process without actually having to go to another system. Thank you for watching this overview of using PopDoc widgets in Teams. If you'd like to learn more about PopDoc, please check out some of our other videos on the E1 Solutions YouTube channel. To start a free trial, just stop by popdoc.com.